Hello, welcome to Google Cloud. Today we're going to create an application, a Dockerized application, containerized application, and we're going to interact with the storage. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is just setting the project. All right, I'm going to create a service account. I'm just checking that I'm my users, the owner, okay. Let's create a service account. I'm going to call the storage holder. It's great. So now we're going to add the rules. Sector row, no row, sorry. Storage. Okay, storage object admin. Continue. Let's create a key. JSON, which you're going to use. Okay, in case you already downloaded for us, I'm going to show you guys. So, I generated this key for us, which is going to be useful. I'm going to put it into my project. Here, okay, click done. Now what we're going to do, we are going to clone our repository and to create our image, so our Docker image, I mean, close, let's enable the cloud shell. I could have prepared all the things previously without the video, but there are people who get lost if I don't show all the steps. So that's why we're going all the steps, including the application running, from also the Docker file. We're cloning this. Okay, so we have the Docker file. Now we're going to Docker build dash dash d the gcr.io slash project td which our project td is i'm going to call my application is elastic so now it's going to create our image then suddenly we're going to deploy to do using the cloud run uh, it's going to be faster other than other than using the kubernetes which i should create a cluster and having a deployment yaml but in a while, I'm going to share the project. Why have I used it? So in this case, this is the project. Let's go to the Palm, Docker, Sources. So to my resource, here's the key JSON file. There's just a banner. In this case here, I just have the product ID. The configuration for storage. Profiles already. Okay. Now we go to the Palm, to the Docker file before. This is my Docker file. And in this case, I messed up because I was working with the storage. So I'm going to change that before I do something. So I'm going to my Docker file. Good that I'm double checking that. My Docker file must match with the storage, which I used on. As you guys could send the resources. So if I go into resources. I define the storage. 
All right, commit to the push header at Docker file. So I change it as an OIO. Okay, that's great. From the dependencies, what I am using, we are using the starter web, GCP starter, storage, as far as Swagger, and Lombok, and the dependencies manageable, the GCP dependencies, and the Maven plugin, Spring Boot Maven plugin, the latest version of Spring Boot. Great. Here is code, pretty simple. Okay, let's get into resources. This is just the boot for the configuration. Okay, let's see how all the very swagger thing. Simple. Swagger 2.9.2. Let's get back to the image where I have to regenerate. Regenerate that. Oh. Git pull. Regenerate aim. At least sorry, it all all depends as we need, so it's gonna be faster. So let's be back there. Okay, that was the swagger. Here we have the resource, we have the controller. Here's just the, the configuration. In this case, we are using all these properties, all these classes, and uh, from the start the part of Spring, I have a moot part file which I upload etc. So in this case I have this storage and I just create a bucket with a bucket name I define it. I define I delete an object and upload the file upload the file. This there everything it does pretty simple. Alright create our image so let's check Docker images. Oh I agree. 44 seconds ago Let's double check that. If I don't specify the tag, must be the override the latest version. Let's create another tag, Elastic App. Pretty faster. Okay, let's push it. Like Docker image. Okay, now it's just so the elastic one. Let's push the container registry. Now it's going to XP on their tools container registry. This stands for and managing all the Docker images. As you guys can see, our images here. Created two minutes ago, uploaded just now. Okay, let's go to create a service. We're going to choose the cloud run. Start using Cloud Run. Let's create a service. And call it Elastic. Cloud Run is being enabled. Okay. Let's... It's enabled. It's going to live in this region. It's okay. Let's put it into Next. Let's select the image. Continue. Okay. Show advanced. Okay. Now, even the poor and dead. Gonna put more memory. I got some a variable. Add a variable. 8080. Connections. I don't have any connection. To see what Satra can set there. <coughs> Let's create service itself. I'm going to close this. It's going to logs. Let's double check in this login. 
It's a stick driver resource. So wait a little bit. Okay, this is just the banner. Let's go into the application. Now we do here, we can leave it for a while. Okay, this is we can leave. We go to storage. So we go to storage and storage. Storage and storage. All right, this is, there is this bucket uh, already predefined, but we're going to create new buckets from the application. Let's wait it loading. Every HTTP request is tracked. Okay, we have the base control, something of spring, stuff I define it. So let's create a bucket. I'm gonna call it the project ed underscore bucket. Okay, let's execute that. Just one is not enough. Four. Eighty. So let's go in here. We have all the buckets. What do we have on the bucket one? There is nothing uploaded. There is no one behind working that for me. So now I try to upload something. Upload. Try out. Let's fix now these things. Downloads. Fix. Let's select this pick. Let's choose another picture. Okay. This one, anyway, just, just a matter of loading and different files. We have a txt file here. Perfect. So all those files were uploaded, and uh, I just created, I can delete also, I had, just have to specify the bucket name and the object name. In this case, we have here, all those three, let's try and can delete two faces. Also, you know why I'm going to put uh, something on the other bucket to see that we're working in different buckets but wouldn't be different any picture yeah just uploaded Mm -hmm. And we go into the bucket before. Remember, we had three items, now we have just two, just deleted and we did work it. For the answer of my REST API was okay. Was true, sorry. 
So thanks for watching, and this is the end of the lab. Pretty simple to the way of the working lab from the Java side to connect with storage. If you don't have access directly to the storage on the resource. Or maybe your application needs to you on behind the scenes work with the storage. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.